Hey, it's Amy of Dragon Spit Apothecary. Welcome to our last Oil Oracle card reading in April. Um, as always, we do this every Friday. You guys know that. If you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and you follow me on social media, you know every full moon and Friday afternoon to come see me and we will pull some cards that are inspirational and fun um, and just kind of help us get through the next few days that are coming up for us, right? And learn a little bit about oils along the way. If you're new to this, welcome. Appreciate you watching it. Um, Amy with Dragon Spit Apothecary. You can check me out at dragonspitapothecary.com. Um, lots of free resources for learning how to live more naturally on your terms. And you're always welcome to ask me questions. Um, I have a lot of great e-courses online um, through the website and just opportunities for you to figure out what this all means for you. And certainly always happy to answer questions to help you figure that out. So today we're going to pull our three cards, one for the weekend, one for next week, and then a special from the universe card um, and kind of talk about each of these and how they are intending to help us and guide us through things that we are going on in our life. So our very first card, um, and this is the one for this weekend, which I love this oil. I've just been in love with this oil since day one. This is Vetiver. It's a great oil. Oh. If you're looking for some sleep support, this is it. So this is the card of concentration and grounding. And um, you can see he's kind of hanging out really relaxed and chill. He's in his Zen zone, right? So we're going to talk about this bed of her card a minute and see how we can use this to help us through maybe some things that we're dealing with right now. So um, again, vetiver is a very earthy essence um, and it encourages patience stillness of the mind, being present. I struggle with all those things. Um, it is known to induce um, tranquility and calmness. And um, it's a flower. If you didn't know, vetiver is a flower. It's a purple flower with kind of a brownish tone to it. And it gives us that foundation, the colors that you see in this card. And instills on us the need to focus on things that are needed leaving the past behind and the future tomorrow. So being mindful in the present moment. Um, it, it helps us kind of overcome this idea of being perfect because none of us are, right? You guys know that. Or maybe we feel lost, aloof, disconnected. This is all things that kind of bring us back to what's really going on and helps us create that um, ability to step away from things that are kind of driving us crazy. So rest, sleep, that's why this is so good for sleep. Um, it kind of helps with that irritability that comes from not being rested and trying to continue with being scattered everywhere across several things. Um, maybe we're really hyperactive about something. We've been concentrating so hard on lots of details and it's all just kind of built up and we're kind of over it. Or maybe we're sad about something and struggling with letting it go. That's what this oil is really great for. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just a great emotional support at all. I'm telling you, I can't speak highly enough about it. But this card is telling us to be mindful. Come back to the present and be mindful. Our energy is scattered everywhere. It's time to regroup and focus on us. So a little self-love is in order this weekend. And um, connect back to our roots. Get grounded in what we know and who we are. And... Um, know that there's still work out there to be done. We're going to be fully equipped to do it, but right now we got to come within and, and help ourselves. So the affirmation for this oil, and I like to diffuse this oil. It's really thick and yummy. Diffuse it. It's really relaxing. And your affirmation is, I am fully grounded in the experience of the present moment. I am at peace with what is. So I'll get you a little bit of her. I only use the doTERRA vetiver. It's wonderful. Oh, so divine. Um, and if you don't have it, you can reach out to me and I'll help you get it, show you how to use it, and um, get you some support to make this worthwhile. Okay, so the next card we're going to talk about is the card we need for next week. And it's cumin. And this is the card for flexibility. Uh, I'm sorry, versatility. And our journey. So, you know, if you think about vetiver, it's calling us to be mindful of today, 
be present in the moment, let go of being scattered all over the place. Well, cumin is going to speak to that as well. But cumin is actually the oil of travel. So, of course, you guys all know it's a spice. It's very um, prevalent in Asian and African and Latin um, meals. But it's versatile. You can use cumin in everything, right? Um, to me, a little goes a long way, but it's still very versatile. And, and that's what makes it such an important card for us. This is speaking about being our ability to be easygoing, versatile, coming into every situation um, with a fresh mind, open to what is possible. Um, it's helping us over be more ease and flow centered, right? So if you're mindful and you're in the present moment, it's a whole lot easier to be easy with the flow, right? So hand in hand, this is building up to something great. Um, it, it helps us explore and be open and waiting for the right moment to move in the direction that we want. So very important, um, messaging here. And so this is telling us that what we seek is not where we are right now, but we're going to get there. And, and we have to accept some inevitable changes along the way. But we can do that with the ease and flow when we're living in the current moment. So pretty special message. So cumin for next week. And your affirmation is, in the world in which I travel, I am endlessly creating myself. Okay? Love that. Such a great oil for next week. Okay. So you guys are going to really get into this. So, you know, I pull a third card for message from the universe. And boy, does it tie these two first cards together. I, wow, it is perfect. So, so far we've had vetiver to be mindful of right now. Cumin to be more versatile and ease and flow into things that are coming to us and to, to know our journey's not done. We have a lot more ahead of us to explore. Then comes in this lovely card from the universe of cedarwood. Yeah, cedarwood. So this is the card of optimism and, I can't read backwards, connection. Mm -hmm. So, gosh, I'm telling you, this is beautiful. It's a really well-connected um, reading. So, of course, cedar wood is a wood. It's very um, aromatic to use. and it, But it's such a great oil for when you are feeling alone or disconnected from others, right? Which sometimes we crave that. Don't get me wrong. But when you're kind of feeling that nobody cares about me feeling or I'm in this all by myself. <sighs> yeah, I feel that a lot. Um or we're looking for acknowledgement from others that we exist, right? And every mama on here watching this knows what I'm talking about. So this oil helps us um, know that we are not alone, okay? And it deals with our tribe and our connection to those that are most important to us in our circle. Um, it allows things, relationships to be easy and healthy with friends and family. <coughs> um, helping, helping us overcome oversensitivity to things, um, picking our battles and not just being irritated because, you know, feeling a little unappreciated right now. Okay. So this is really great oil for concentration and focus, um, depression, anxiety. It's very calming and soothing. And I think it works well with the vetiver to help us be mindful, okay, and and look at the more positive side of things versus, oh, woe is me, or no one cares about me. It kind of helps us see the other side of stuff. So this is telling us that we need some emotional strength right now. Um, maybe some conflicts are coming up in our life that we're a little sensitive about, and maybe we're just not... Um, we need a wider perspective. That's a good way to put it. And to do that, though, we need to simplify things. Again, being present in the moment, understanding our needs and heart, 
and then we will know the right direction to move in. That's perfect for us. And that really is living natural if you can do that. Okay, so Cedarwood, message from the universe. This is your affirmation. I am willing to give and receive love into my life every day and in every way. Isn't that great? Okay, so that is our last reading for April. And if you have questions, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help. And just leave me feedback. Are you loving these Oracle card readings? Um, I actually have some really cool surprises when it comes to this coming up. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Um, kind of enhance what we're doing now every Friday. And uh, may actually work it into the full moon. So yeah, I'm still playing with it. But look for some changes coming up um, to just keep it enriching and interesting. Um, but I'd love your feedback. Is this helpful? Um, do you find guidance in this reading that I do every Friday? And um, look forward to sharing more of this with you in May. But tell me what tell me what's been your experience so far with this. Be, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any more of these. Okay. All right. Till next week.